All I need is a white sweater and then I'm a Canadian flag. What's up everyone, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. You know what time it is. I got the Zara box. We're doing a try on haul. There isn't a single person I know that doesn't love Zara as much as I do. I'm sure you do too, which is why you clicked this video. I got a couple pieces to share with you. The thing about Zara is, I've said it before, I'll say it again, it's for the streets, it's for everyone. There's no way you can go on their website which has thousands of things that drop on Mondays and Wednesdays and not find something you love. So let's jump right in. Is this what's supposed to be in the back? I didn't know that, I didn't see that in the video. See, rule number one when you're buying something on Zara Online is make sure you scroll to the bottom because the models be contorting their body like the exorcist and you can't see what the outfit really looks like. I love the way this dress feels. It's perfect for a summer night because it's super breathable. But uh, the world is closed. Where am I going? It's nice though. I like. What do you think? I don't really have any hips. So I was kind of worried that it wouldn't fit. It's a little loose here though. Just a little bit. But maybe I can shrink it in the dryer. All right. Let's see what else I got. If you know me, you know I live in jumpsuits. Rompers, one piece, big, tight fitting for workouts, for play, for at home, for every day, anytime. I'm all about the one pieces because they're just so easy. You can accessorize it up to make it more dressy. Wear it just like this if you're lounging around at home. This is giving me home clothes vibes though. I love the low back. Don't get it twisted, I'm here for that. But other than the softness of how it feels and how it's so light, which would be perfect for a summer night, I'm not really here for this. It's kind of giving me pajama vibes, if you know what I mean. But maybe it's because it's not tight enough here. I wish it was a... Well, then again, I already have one that ties tight, so I wouldn't need another one like that. But this is I. It's pretty. I think it was $29 or $39, so it's a pretty good price point for a good basic. It needs something. One second. Maybe it needs a trench or a leather coat, which surprise, surprise, I do not own. I'm still on the hunt for a leather coat with gold zippers. Haven't found one yet, but I feel like it just needs something to take it to another level because it's just, it's almost giving me Teletubby vibes, you know, like the whole baby one piece thing. I don't know what it is, guys. This is a no for me. First thing that's a yes for me. I am here for this red set. I love how soft this is. It's almost soft to the point where I feel like if I sit on something that isn't soft, it's gonna pill on the booty. That happened to me with a pair of leggings a couple weeks ago, unimpressed. But, ooh, I love rib leggings. I don't know what it is. I really love this. I really, really love this. The cuffing here matches the cuffing at the bottom. I feel really Canadian wearing this. Like all I need is a white sweater and then I'm a Canadian flag. What do you think? What kind of shoes would I wear? I could wear nude heels if I'm trying to dress it up, but I can't wear my gray sneakers. That would be weird. I really love these racer cut tops. I have a bodysuit version that I got five years ago. It's funny how trends wave and come and go. So I'm liking how soft this is and that it's a crop and of course red. Because a couple of you guys commented on the vlog when I was wearing red since I don't wear red a lot and you're like, red is your color. So I'm like, that's my cue to buy some more. Them jeans. Not too much space here, which is always a little problem. I don't know what it is, the tiny waist. I'm like, who's fitting these pants like this anyway? I feel like it smushes my bum a little bit, but that's all right. Still got a little bit of give. If I eat, at least there's room to grow. Cause this is very stiff denim. Zara hasn't made stretchy denim in a minute. The last time I got a pair of Zara jeans that were actually stretchy, I think I was 18. I love these. I like that they're not too short because the last time I tried mom jeans, I just, I wasn't here for the length. But these, I could live with this. I like the rips. Even with this, it's a good look. I like this wash. It's one of the lighter washes I've ever bought. I'm so picky when it comes to jeans. Are you the same way? I don't know what it is, but I feel like jeans can really make or break your outfit. You want to go grunge without looking too undone. You want to look very casual without making it look very messy and just it's the Goldilocks in between, you know? Ooh, tight. Okay, that's a good sign. But wait, what is all this? Okay, this is way more slack than the other pair. What am I going to do with this? Is it obvious? I think it's obvious. <laughs> 
that's the thing with Zara denim. In between sizes, you don't really know. Now, if I went a size down, I would not be able to get this over this area. Not saying I'm thick or anything, because I'm clearly not, but obviously the fit of this is a little off. I don't know what I was trying to do when I clicked these. They're really long. I mean, I can do what I did when I was in elementary school, which is fold and pin these. Used to always do that because I'm on the petite side. And also when you're growing, you can just loosen them as you grow, but I don't know if that's any better. Yeah, these are definitely a throwback cut to elementary school because I always used to wear the wide leg, even the flare too, but I'm not bringing that back. I don't know about you. I love these rips though. It's so edgy, but still chic. The wash is really pretty. It goes really well with this kind of tone. If only I couldn't fit two from you back here. Long, long, long. Can you see? Just my luck, it gets cloudy AF when I'm trying to wrap this up. Okay, I threw on these leggings just to give you a vibe of what they're like in black. I was really hoping these would be a good replacement for my black pair that ripped the other day, but it's not doing what I need it to. When it comes to a basic pair of leggings, I like them to look and feel more like pants, but sit and fit like leggings, if you know what I mean. These are more like tights, like tights as in pantyhose, you know, the ones you used to wear to church. And if you forgot to bring them, your grandma would cuss you out. Or maybe that just happened to me. I just, I don't think they're structured enough, especially with the bodysuit tucked in. Maybe if you're just doing the crop thing like I did with the set. But since red is a statement, I can get away with it. With this, I just need more oof. But I'm on the fence with this. It feels really soft though. That's why I'm kind of like, but I could keep it because it's soft, but it's not structured enough. So <sighs> I'll think about this one. But overall, it was a good haul. I think I'm going to keep about 50% of the stuff I got, which is actually good because most times when I order this much from Zara, I only pick one piece because a lot of times I'll order things and I'll think, oh my gosh, that's made for me. It comes. And I'm like, what is this? Or other times I buy things and I'm like, in what universe would this look good on anyone? And why did I think I could pull it off? So that's pretty standard for me. Thank God they have free returns. So I can send it back with no problems. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this Legally Blind Lookbook try and haul as part of 30 Days of Blind. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like, share, subscribe. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.